Let's talk about a hidden factor, okay, a vitamin deficiency in numb hands or pins and needles in your hands or your feet, okay? A lot of people have this. They might even have carpal tunnel syndrome and there's a hidden cause for it. And I want to talk about it, but I first want to kind of give you some definitions of some words that might be new. The first term is myelin, myelin. Myelin is the coding around the nervous system. It allows the nerve impulses to travel. And without this myelin, you're going to have a short circuit in the electrical system, and you can get all sorts of what's called paresthesia, which means abnormal sensation. And paresthesia could be a combination of numbness, tingling, pins and needles, cold, hot, burning pain can come from a lack of myelin on your nervous system or your spinal column, okay? And the medical term for that is demyelination, the removal of this myelin sheath around the nervous system. Now, and there's another term I want to introduce you to, and that's called myelopathy. Okay, what's myelopathy? Myelopathy, if you break it down, myelo meaning spinal cord and pathy meaning suffering, okay? So your spinal cord is suffering, you know, from various reasons. And one reason is the myelin sheath is breaking down. And when that myelin sheath breaks down, you start feeling sensations in your hands and your feet. One cause of this could be diabetes, okay, where you have the loss of this myelin sheath because your sugar is too high. And that's usually a deficiency of thymine, okay, because thymine is also involved in making this myelin. And so um, you would just take more thymine and change your diet, and that problem would greatly improve. And that usually happens in your feet first, okay? Not necessarily in the hands, but it can happen in the hands, uh, but it's mainly in the bottom of the feet. But if it's in the hands, one cause of this breakdown in myelin is a vitamin B12 deficiency. It's actually quite common. A lot of people are not getting enough B12, and that's why I'm doing this video right now to bring up your awareness and make this connection between a symptom that I probably haven't talked about very much. And that is the loss of myelin in the cervical spine in your neck. That's where it can commonly occur. So you can even see this degeneration in the spinal column on an MRI. And the various parts of the spinal column can then relate to problems that happen down the arm into the fingertips. A B12 deficiency can also give you other symptoms as well that might not be as common, like your gait when you walk. You can be, feel like you're out of balance, almost like you drank some alcohol, which when you really didn't drink any alcohol, you're shuffling along. This problem in the spinal column in your neck from the B12 deficiency can also show up in other parts of your body. It can show up as urinary retention, bladder problems. You can have bladder problems from a problem in your neck. Interesting. You can have problems in your feet, like the numbness, the paresthesia from a problem in your neck. You can even press your head down, flex it down like this and cause shooting pain down your spine just from this myelin sheath missing in your neck. And of course you can have a lot of stiffness in your neck as well. And another reason I'm bringing this up is as we age, okay, we lose stomach acid. Okay. And when we lose stomach acid, we cannot absorb B12. And so a lot of people that are older have a B12 deficiency. And they also have a lot of neurological issues too with their fingers. And they also have a lot of degeneration and pain in their neck too. If you take an x ray of their spine and the neck, you'll see that there's a lot of breakdown here. And some of that degeneration, at least on an MRI, uh, could be coming from a B12 deficiency on top of a pre-existing injury and things like that. If you don't know that, you know, let's say you get surgery for your neck and you still have a problem or you get some type of therapy for the pain and you still have a problem. Why? Because you haven't made this link between B12 and the myelin sheath. So now let's complete the list of why someone is low in B12. Is it just because they're not consuming enough B12? That could be. 
Maybe they're a vegan or a vegetarian and they don't eat animal products. B12 is very high in animal products, right? You have the, the beef, the lamb, the pork, the chicken, organ meats for sure. It's in fish, seafood, shellfish. It's also in eggs, cheese. And so if someone doesn't eat those foods, then they need to take B12 as a supplement. And I'm going to tell you exactly what type of B12 you should get in a minute, but I just want to kind of go through the list. Another really common cause of low B12 is the person's stomach acid is just not very strong. They're losing the acidity in the stomach. And this happens as we age. The great majority of people over the age of 60, 70, and especially 80 are very low in stomach acid. So they're not getting the benefit of the acid to stimulate this B12. And the B12 just doesn't get absorbed that well. If you are older and you have this numbness or tingling in your hands, you should be taking something called betaine hydrochloride. It's a natural supplement. You take maybe three, four, five, six of these little tablets before a meal, and you're going to start to acidify the stomach and you're going to start to absorb B12. And another I have in the list is antacids. If you're taking an antacid, uh, that could be the reason why you don't have enough acid in your stomach, and that's going to create a problem. So you're going to have to figure out what to do about that. I put a link down below on a solution for that and to solve the real reason why you need an antacid in the first place. All right, taking metformin. Metformin has one side effect of lactic acidosis, and that occurs when someone does not have enough B12 and B1. Metformin depletes your B12 and it also depletes vitamin B1. So if you're on metformin, chances are you need more B12. And that could be the reason why you have this symptom in your hands. Another common reason for a B12 deficiency is a genetic reason. There is a new thing with genetic testing nowadays. You can go get your DNA tested and find out what weaknesses you have so you can support those. Fairly well known gene that a lot of people have a problem with is MTHFR. Okay, that's the name of a gene that has to do with folate. And this also relates to B12 and the right kind to make it all work. And if you have this problem with this gene, which by the way, 30% of the population has, then you're going to be deficient in not just folate, but B12 as well, because your body has a difficult time absorbing B12 on top of all these other factors, okay? And that can show up in many different ways in one being numbness or tingling in the fingertips. Another reason why you might have a deficiency of B12 is just that you can't absorb it because either you have inflammation in your stomach or your small intestine or large intestine, you have uh, irritable bowel syndrome, or you have some type of past damage from that, that could be the reason why you're not absorbing B12. And then the last reason would be that you had gastric bypass, right? Which you're altering some of the small intestine and the stomach to the point where you can't, you don't have that surface to absorb the B12 anymore. And all of a sudden, one day you end up with these, these weird sensation in your wrist or your hands. Well, it's coming from a B12 deficiency. Okay, so what is the solution? Well, to take the right form of B12. You may need to go beyond just eating foods high in B12. You might just need to take it as a supplement. So the type of supplement that you want to take to resolve this paresthesia in the, in the hands or even the feet would be methylcobalamin, okay? Methylcobalamin, not the cyanocobalamin version, but the methylcobalamin version. If you have this genetic problem, like I mentioned, you also want to get a product with methylcobalamin and methylfolate, which is the right kind of folate with B6. That's the remedy. You can get all these in just one supplement. Okay. You start taking that and you're going to notice some great improvements. If you are a diabetic, okay. Or have a pre-diabetic and you have this problem uh, in your hands or your feet. Okay. You might benefit more from a fat soluble version of vitamin B1. And that's called benfotamine. Benfotamine is wonderful to help this myelin sheath problem, mainly in the feet, but also can help in the hands as well. So anyway, I wanted to bring up this connection that may be helpful, especially if you have the problems I just talked about. To give you more information about this common genetic problem that I just mentioned, 
M-T-H-F-R. I put that video up right here. Check it out.